We are using the Aboriginal Goddess Chakra cards. So as I shuffle, please set your intention for your reading. General readings are brilliant because they speak to each of us in different ways. We all hear something different. We um, all get exactly what we need to hear. Three cards only. Three cards only. All the right way up. That never happens. <laughs> and now it does. The centre of the reading. The connection card. So this is all the chakras together. Connection from the heart. So this is heart connection. This is deep heart and soul connection. So connection with others, connection with the universe, connection with the earth, connection with our self, our higher self, connection with our own heart. Connection on many, many levels. The centre of the reading is really to encourage us to, it's to recognise and be mindful. To recognise and be mindful of where we're not connected and where we are connected and where we are connected, where it's not serving us. So I just invite you to just consider where you're feeling disconnected from your own heart, from your own soul, from the earth, the planet from the universe, from wisdom, higher wisdom, and from perhaps loved ones, friendships, and where connections are not in harmony for you, which are not serving you, connections that are not equal, where you're giving more than you're getting or where it's dysfunctional. Particularly, having said all of that, particularly it is about the connection with our true nature, particularly with our heart, with our purpose. Okay, so in particular that, all the other stuff can be impacting that though. The orange chakra fairy. So we know our orange chakra is just below the navel. It is our creative center. It is the center of where we store a lot of emotional energy. Also the center of feminine wisdom. So we all have masculine and feminine, whether we're male, or female, other. We all have that both within. So this is a very important center. So in relation to this deep connection, yeah, we're really being asked to connect deep within. So in particular, this time of year, energetically a time of year when we can start to shed the old. So the story of the person, Jesus, who, who died and rose again, that can be for us, us now as a message to allow those bits of us that we don't want to take forward to die. It's a great time to be dropping away everything that's not serving us to connect with what we truly want to birth from the creative centre. What are we wanting to bring up and out? What are we wanting to create and bring up and out? What needs to drop away for this to happen? What do you need to let go of? What do you need to say, I'm not available for that anymore? What am I not available for anymore? And time to drop that away. So what is wanting to rise in you from your creative centre has the space to do so. And then we have the Divine Messenger card. So this is the throat chakra, our blue throat chakra. And in relation to what we're talking about today, our manifesting. So we need to drop stuff away. We need to reconnect to what we want to bring, um, bring forward, what we want to manifest. What needs to drop away so we can manifest what we want? Because we manifest through the throat chakra. We actually have to have a clear passageway for the energy from below your navel in the sac sacral chakra to come up and be expressed through the throat and manifest in our physical reality. What's deeply in your heart that you want to bring forward? What needs to drop away so that this energy can come up and out? And the divine messenger, it's so beautiful because what you are desiring to create, to manifest, is actually from the universe, from the divine that's all supporting you, right? This messenger is here to 
just waiting for you to drop the stuff that needs to be dropped so this can be manifested, right? Everything's ready. Everything's in place. It already exists now. You just can't kind of have it landed for you while you're hanging on to the old, the old way of being. So for me to manifest what I want, which is calm, Horses that stand quietly and get their feet trimmed. That's what I wanted to create. That's what I wanted to manifest in my physical reality. What did I need to drop away and let go of to allow that in? Because it existed somewhere. It just wasn't in my current reality. I need to drop away the worried, stressed horse mum. Because that was an old story. I had a new trimmer. There was no need for her, this old, worried, stressed horse mum. I needed to drop her away, right, that way of being, in order to allow myself to manifest through the energy of creating and through the energy of the throat what I wanted, which was calm horse, just getting their feet trimmed. How did I do that? By connecting with my heart and the hearts of the horses. It's like, oh, it's not actually my job to make them stand quietly. That's their job. I'm worrying about something that's not even my job. So when the energy got taken out of that worry and I came into the new horse mum, stepping into the energy of calm, relaxed, loving, gentle horse mum, step into that energy, what manifested in my reality was horses and boom, all calm, perfect trimming through the energy of my creative chakra, manifesting it through my throat, but I couldn't do it until I dropped the old version of horse mum. This is what you need to start thinking about. What do I want to create? What do I want? Right, so we've got to drop the old, step into the new energy, connect with our heart, let this energy up and out, knowing the universe has our back, right? So start thinking about what you need to let go of. Start connecting with what you, is in your heart. Can, what connections are serving you? What connections are not serving you? My connection to worried, stressed horse mum, not serving me. She had to go. She does pop up occasionally, right? It's a process. Okay, I'm not available for her anymore. Come back to what do I want? And stepping into that energy. So, so you're connected to what you desire to the energy of the person that you are desiring to be. So not stressed horse mum, calm horse mum, right? The connections so that we can allow this creative energy to rise up from our creative chakra up through the throat where we know we're supported by the universe. But this is how we start to manifest what we want. It's about connecting with your heart dropping away the old and allowing the energy to rise. Much love and many bright blessings. Have a wonderful long weekend.